Oh! Sorry, I know it's kind of extract. I... Is it still shaking? Just trying to, um... Well, <laughs> never, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult situation. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Oh, well, tell me if you can hear me. Anything. That's my advice for today. What was that? Thanks for listening. I think it's because I never saved before. Uh, waiting for this. Let's see what you've written today. <sighs> Here he smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> Got a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's a poem I wrote. I don't like it or anything. Uh, Axel, Bathing Sky, Seven, uh, por Portrait of Something, Harness, Parabolic Gearbox, uh, Controls, Slipping Cogwheels, Swimming, Water, Directions, Drowning, Prayer, Blood, Prayer, Written, Time Devouring, Snakes with Human Eyes, A Tread, Connecting, Only Human Life, Bioscope of Holy Stakes, Exponential Gearbox, Sky, Exploding Stars, uh, 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 uh who cares? <laughs> doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I take it out of my pen. That is, uh, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it. So she did mean your... Your pen, uh... I'm seeking, uh I, um, I just really like it, the way that it... No! Don't tell me this is going to be like some kind of weird uh, yandir kind of thing. Touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. Why don't I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We all have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could sit at the front of the room... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really do something for the festival? Not like we can put something in just a few days. We'll end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since Petty Odista joined, and we've been starting some club activities. But this isn't time for us to be complicated. Complacent. We still have only four members. The festival is a real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki! Don't you think you're looking at this right? Not right, right, right. To your passion, many people as you want. You can inspire them to feel the same way you brought in the first place. Like, the literature company should be a place where people can express themselves and anywhere else. It should be a place to... So intimate... You never want to leave. I know you feel that way. Well, I know we all do. That's why we should work hard, put something together for the festival. You know something small. Right, Petty Odisa? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Petty Odisa to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anyone. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never talked until Petty Odisa joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Penny Odista isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. Please, Monica, don't pull a knife on her. I know you're the president and all, but you really should consider your opinions for once. Monica's clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure you're in Penny Odista want to get some more members too, uh, right? Ellipsis. Ellipsis. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I showed as much enthusiastic as Monica wanted. Uh, but then I'd probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. That's he's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here is the same way that I did? 
But it doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Hey, Yorista, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Uh, nightmares. Well, it's not really something I can be honest about. In fact, I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at the desk. What's the point of all this anyway? Was this starting a new club a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with being... With the club being that for me? <sighs> there aren't any other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking... She's not taking anything away. No, periodista. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If we wanted that, we could just join any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things are nice. Unless she starts picking your things. I'm going home. I feel... Like I don't want to be here anymore. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Ellipsis. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. Kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Yuri! How could you? I like how nice and quiet the club is. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it down a few notches, Yuri. Please, 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 please. I don't want everybody to kill herself. I should do my best to consider everybody's perspective and make a decision for the club. What about you, Pediodista? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I said giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. <sighs> I think the most important thing is that everyone just get together. And for the club to provide something that you can get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Each change in member... The identity of the club as a whole will change, too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad... Oh! I thought I saw something. I knew it! Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. Why is she crying blood? I'd like to help Monica in the festival, then I'm on your side. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk about Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, I know things are a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that you're still a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. <laughs> Monica. I want to do everything I can do to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Periodista? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Periodista before we leave. I just want to see what he thinks of his time here and all. It's important to me as president. Uh, maybe he looks a little troubled, but he doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew, things have been going a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Periodista, I just want to make sure that you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. How mean Natsuki is and everything. Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? It's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you about. 
There are things I know only you could understand. So that's why... No, wait, not yet. No, stop. Ooh, oh jeez. Range, uh, smile. Blanket. Ribbon. Flower. Treasure. Dazzle. Pink. Kiss. Bunny. Sticky. Papa. Fun. Whoa! I just noticed that number. Dance. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Was she there the whole time? What have I done? Hi, Periodista. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I'm a mess tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Then consider as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. You must always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did think yesterday. I was a, bit, a little bit more hostile than I meant to be. I really, f I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you look for some coins under the vending machine or something? <gasps> Yuri! Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Are you passing some piano again? Yep. <laughs> Must have a lot of determination. Sorry, in this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard in the festival, too. Anyway, Pedriista, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Pedriista and I are already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that we've already gotten in the literature, Monica? I... I suppose I was just actually it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Ah, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh, those eyes for a second. That's scary. I actually have a quest. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing, <sighs> not to mention yourself as well. What have I gotten myself into? Can you hold this for a second? Sure. There's a monitor picture, electric kettle, I'm going to plug this in. Uh, teacher's desk, watch your movements. His mannerisms. Methodical. There's a the water pitcher? Sure, I'll be right back. Uh, might as well walk with you. That's okay, you stay here, it won't take long. Ah, uh, did you relieve you again? No, it's not like that this time. She just filled in the water pitcher to make some tea. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored, just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I head there down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? Coming from around the corner. No! Is she... No! Uh-oh! Sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale, like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? <laughs> in pain? Yuri, how could you? I am offended. Thanks for waiting patiently. Hey, Lisa, did you like a long tea? Ah, yeah. I'm totally stupid. Anything fine? Uh, you some sort of 200 degrees. Now it's just time to get a teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even though I'm not an expert in tea or anything. Ha ha ha. In that case, you'll be only even more impressed. Oh, well, perhaps I will. Here he fetches the teapot and measuring tea leaves. To my surprise, you start humming a little to yourself. That's really good mood now. Is that so? No way. No, it's not possible. You notice, I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided to express myself a little bit more. 
Turns out, not very hard for me to do. Turn around. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Pediodista. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Watching Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us? Hey, you have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Yeah, why's that? It's a little easy on my back. I can read my back. Ah, uh, sorry. I guess it's my... My face that is really hard on my body. Here we go. Is there something wrong with her eyelids this time? Her eyelashes? They look a little red. Bloody, maybe? I don't know. That's the case. So I focused. Chocolate candy. Mouth. I hold it here. She doesn't look away. It means I can't stop. Put it in her mouth. Eh. When it breaks contact. I just blah, 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 blah. Oh, here goes the music. I... I can't. Hey, dude, Easter. Suddenly, here he forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacups get knocked over. Pediodista. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Pediodista. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Pediodista? Here he suddenly presses my hand against her chest. What is happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. I can't even make it... It makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ah! Oh, no! Please, don't look at me anymore. Ah, it's time to show poems. Thanks, Monica, for getting me out of that situation. I think I saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to tell you this, but I think we have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous to, for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which is why it shouldn't be a problem itself. When Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with pocket knife! So she wasn't hurting Monica, but... So she totally is edgy goth. Okay. Collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not like she's impressed or anything like that. I can just get some kind of high from it. I mean, be like a sexual thing. At this point, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. I think that's why you should keep your distance, probably best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. Put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head. I know how to treat a club member. <sighs> I worked really hard on this poem, so I hope that's uh, effective. Here it goes. Yeah, man, that really started me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. I don't want to enable her. I'm a, I'm afraid of her now. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. It's about as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell as much that you actually care about writing, even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not the president or vice president or anything, but it doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So at least read mine now, okay? To be clear, this whole means a lot to me. Read it carefully. I don't know where to bring it up, but it's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've been here a few days. You may not know what it means, but she not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I keep on talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do, but I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try getting, being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm really going to hate myself later for admitting that.